Unless well, Sagittarius says, welcome to your love reading for May 2019. If it resonates, please consider a personal reading. And let's get to it. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for a Sagittarius says for love? What is their love energy for May 2019? Any messages you have for Sagittarius for love? My card just slipped, by the way. May 2019 would be greatly appreciated for a Sagittarius love. 2019. Alrighty. Okay, so what were the previous energies that Sagittarius passed out of prior to prior to May 2019? Please show me previous love energies. Hold on. Previous love energies for Sagittarius. Prior to May 2019. What love energies did they pass out of? Okay, you have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Guys, keep in mind that my 2019 Sun Moon readings are up. Look up your Sun Moon sign and go check out what your prediction is for 2019. My 2018 are up also. It's all in my playlist. Everything's in my playlist. Okay, um, Love Energy is for May 2019. We have the Knight of Swords in the upright. And then also click on the Vimeo link below. To take you to what your love interest is thinking whether it's a current a crush or an ex that's down below and how you'll be moving forward from this reading and into june we have the five of cups in reverse okay so i'm getting from the seven of pentacles you all are wondering if you should you should or you shouldn't continue investing in somebody keep putting your energies and your efforts into that person um you don't necessarily know that this is going to work out for the long term. Um, so, so you're just debating, you're thinking, having pause, so to speak. With the Seven Pentacles, I always talk about just having pause and wondering, hmm, am I going to keep on putting coins in this bank? Am I going to keep on hoeing? What is he doing? He's kind of like, I haven't moved these cards. Oh, just kind of watching a tree grow, but protecting it. So he has like a chain link fence around this tree. Um, and he's just kind of sitting there watching it grow. You know, have you ever watched a tree grow? It's kind of the same as paint drying, watching paint dry. It's a very slow and arduous process. So I don't feel like you guys prior to May were in any rush to move a relationship forward. You're waiting, you're seeing um, if it's going to take growth, what's going to happen. I feel like you're looking at the other person and seeing... Um, trying to figure out what their energies are if, if it's somebody they previously had a relationship with you're wondering if they've changed so you're observing them grow and seeing are, are they growing towards the sunlight or are they kind of growing the other way but i just see you being very observant waiting to see what they're going to do what is going to be their next move um watching to see if there's any red flag so you definitely aren't in any rush and also there's a little cobweb down here too i mean it's a spider web but it's cobweb so it hasn't been disturbed so, I mean, this is just a scene of, I'm chilling, I'm waiting, I wanna see what this person's gonna do, I wanna see how this person's gonna act, and, and then maybe, just maybe I might commit to it, but I'm not saying that right now. So that's what you came out of. Um, so the Knight of Swords is here in the upright. The Knight of Swords to me is getting blindsided by something. So something comes in, some sort of truth, gets exposed, yes, you know, it stresses you out, yes, maybe there's, you know, a lot of drama that comes along with it, um, something that was unexpected comes up, but it allows forward motion. Now, in regards to this person here that you were kind of waiting on and waiting on, I think something's going to come up and it's going to be like a little kick in your butt. And all of a sudden you're going to decide you want to move forward. You didn't expect this to come up. So it could be, for instance, what I'm getting is like <laughs> the movie, The Graduate, that old movie. I know I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself, but I mean, or, or just that scene, that typical scene like in a movie where someone like doesn't really want someone and then right at the last minute when they're getting married, they show up and they're like banging on a window like, no, don't do it. Or they show up to the wedding and they stop it and they declare their love. I feel like something like that's going to happen. You're either going to find out that this person is, is deciding to move far away. Um, they're deciding to get married. Um, they're deciding, they're deciding to do something and you find out about it suddenly and you go, oh my God, if I don't jump on this right now, they're gone. Um, so while the whole time you're sitting on your laurels here, you're like, 
I got to move forward as quickly with this or else it's going to it's going to kind of go away. Um, I don't exactly know what that is that you find out. Maybe it'll show up in the clarifiers when I pull them. Now, moving forward with this reading and moving forward into June, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So I feel like um, whatever you've kind of gone through and whatever panic you had here to, to kind of <laughs> made you move, holy Christ, is this blood or is this, oh, that's pen from who knows where. Okay, sorry, I was like, did I just cut myself? Um, so I feel like here, things level out. So whatever panic you had here, here you're like, okay, I'm good. Um, and I feel like you feel hopeful again and you feel hopeful about this relationship with this person. So, I mean, I do feel like whatever it is that you do, you end up kind of getting this person back or, um, I don't know, it's hard for me to articulate. Let me just get to the clarifiers and I'll get, I'll get a little more in depth into that five of cups. Why is the seven of pentacles here for Sagittarius and Wizards to love energies? prior to May. Who is this person? What is this energy? Sagittarius. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in regards to love energies? May. Okay, we have the star card. So this person is your soulmate. You're connected to them. Um, you have hope. You have faith that this is going to work out. For some of you, you may have gone through a struggle with this person and it's behind you all now and you're kind of um, it, it, kind of renewing the relationship. It's not that, then it's just somebody that you have a connection with. Could be an Aquarius, because that's the card of Aquarius. And and you feel this connection with this person like you have with no other, but still you have pause. You're unsure. I don't want to say doubt. You just you're just waiting to see what this person's gonna do. Um Yeah, so so we have the four of pentacles here. And I feel there's a part of you, um, that is releasing certain things about yourself. One of the things you're releasing is control over the situation um, or realizing I don't have any control over this and I'm just gonna kinda let it be. That's what I'm getting from the Four of Pentacles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the cards fall where they may. Before I used to, maybe I wanted to manipulate the situation or make things happen a certain way and I was doing that for the wrong reasons. I was, maybe I, you were doing that to make you feel like you were in control of the situation and make yourself feel stable. But the Four of Pentacles to me is, I'm going to let go of that. I'm just going to watch what happens. I'm going to um, be very observant. I'm going to be patient. Patient is, <laughs> that's what I was looking for, like exercising incredible patience, watching, waiting. The higher, higher fit in reverse, that's the card of Taurus. Not, not ready to commit prior to May at all. Just um, because the higher fit in reverse is like, let's get married. Let's, you know, let's do the right thing. We put a ring on a finger. Um, in reverse, it's kind of like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to put a label on this. You don't want to kind of um, define this relationship. You don't want there to be rules in regards to the relationship. It, it's just, like I said, it was a waiting stage for you to kind of see what's going to happen, how things are going to develop. Really slow energy I'm getting here. Almost like you guys waited too long is what, <laughs> what I'm sort of getting. Um, you might have even been waiting for the other person to make a move and through your inaction or, or how you were being they just kind of took that as disinterest so they decided to move on and I feel like in May you're going to feel about you're going to hear about them moving on why is this knight of swords here in the upright for Sagittarius who is this person what is this energy additional messages for the knight of swords in the upright for Sagittarius okay so you're something does happen um it happens very quickly with the ace of wands so you find something out about this person and with this ace of wands you're like oh my god i gotta have it a beginning with this person i didn't realize that them leaving leaving me or going away was even an option so now you're like okay i need a new romance i need to act now i need to get on this there's an urgency with the ace of wands you definitely have like a chemistry with this person a passion with this person there's the knight of swords again let's move forward let's make this happen it has to happen now i didn't know that you were going to leave i didn't know there was a possibility of that so now in may you're like oh my god i gotta i gotta kind of jump on this i need to hop on my bird and get you <laughs> i feel like it's about forward motion very quick you just didn't realize that this was going to be a situation where this person was going to leave um, you know, we have the devil card in reverse and, and 
the thing about the thing about this, the devil card in reverse, I'm getting that you're realizing things about yourself, the way that you acted back here, things that were negative, and you're saying to your, or you're saying to yourself, you know what? I used to wait on things for too long and a lot of I've lost a lot of things because of that. So with the devil card in reverse, which is a card of Capricorn, so some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn, you're saying to yourself, I'm not gonna do the same things that I did before. I'm gonna get rid of these negative habits in regards to relationships because they didn't work out for me. And I feel like with this situation in May, this is where you put this stuff to the test, this new way of doing stuff. At first, you didn't kind of want to do it because you were thinking, oh, it's too hard to change. I don't want to do it. But whatever's going on with this person and whatever happened, it, it forced you to change. There's nothing you could do about it. Um, well, I mean, you could have not, but it really brought things to light. And you said, you know what, I'm not going to be like dragging my heels anymore because I can miss opportunities if I do that. Why is the five of cups here in reverse? Why is the five of cups here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. I mean, the whole time you're sitting here napping and then here I just see you like, oh my God, I got to jump on this and make this happen. I didn't know they were going to leave. Why would they leave? Well, because they interpreted you being kind of uh, hanging back and, and your inaction as disinterest. So they decided, well, I'm, I'm going to move then, or, well, I'm going to, you know, get married to this person or what have you. Why is this five of cups here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the five of cups. For reversed. For Sagittarius is how they move on from this reading, how they move out of May. Is that the name or the, okay. Yeah, it's a name of chalices. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So, um, you kind of come out of this tumultuous period. I feel like you grab this person and you guys do end up having, you, you say to this person, Hey, you know what? I have a crush on you. Hey, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't hold back. Some of you might be apologizing for your behavior and saying, Hey, I'm sorry. I acted the way that I did. I understand how you misunderstood that. I'm going to change my ways. I realize, you know, you're important and I'm going to show you that. Um, why is this name that's right? And you're apologizing for, with this uh, knave of um, swords in reverse, for not expressing, not saying things when you should have said something, um, for not expressing how you felt. So you do, I feel like you get this person like just at the last minute and you're apologizing for how you were. And that actually allows recovery for the two of you. Um, it allows you guys to recover. It allows forgiveness. I feel like this person forgives you for what you did after they find out, after you say what you say. Additional messages for the Five of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius as they move out of, out of May and forward into June or forward from this reading. Additional messages, High Priestess. And so, move okay, sorry for the interrupt. So we pulled the High Priestess here. Um, so moving forward, you guys are telling yourself, I'm going to rely on my intuition. If something feels right and this person feels perfect for me and it's meant to me, I'm not, I'm not going to sit around. Um, I'm going to actually trust in myself. That's the right thing. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to act. I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to make the right decision. Um, and I really feel that that's what this is. You just having that discovery of, I should have listened to my gut back here. I shouldn't have hesitated. I shouldn't have waited. So I really think it, it, it kind of is a great lesson for you. Like, don't sit on your laurels. Make sure you grab that person while you can or else that person's going to move on. It, it's, you need to be really careful about, um, you know, actions and the way that you act because they can be so easily misinterpreted, especially when people don't talk about things or don't communicate things, then things can get really weird. So um, just be careful of that. That would be my advice for you moving forward into June. Click on the Vimeo link below. It'll take you to what your crush, your current, or ex is thinking in Vimeo. Otherwise, I will see you for mid months. Thank you for your like, shares, um, like, shares, and subscribes. And if you haven't, please do. Good luck to my Sagittarius for love. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.